Nittany Lion Roar with Extreme Panda here, and I got Kingston today, so I'm going to power level him. I've actually already done another video where I power leveled Ranveer, uh, and I didn't think anybody would want to watch me level him for an hour, so I actually sped up the video. But it turns out in the comments section, people really do want to see how it's done uh, over a period of an hour, so I'm going to do that here today. So first of all, uh, this is Kingston. Um, he's a, a really good hero. Today's the first day that he's out. Uh, so I'd like to play with him as soon as I possibly can. Um, so let's talk about why you would want to power level a hero. Um, first of all, if you're a free-to-play uh, player and you finally get a good 5-star, you want to be ready to level that 5-star hero and play with it as soon as possible. Um, so as long as you're patient as a free-to-play player, you can set things up in your training camps um, to make sure that you can go ahead and do this as soon as you get that good 5-star hero, whether it comes out of your training camp 20 or uh, you just happen to use like a hero coin and get a 5-star hero or something like that. So absolutely free-to-pay players um, or free-to-play players can absolutely do this just as much as a pay-to-win player. Um, of course, a pay-to-win player might want to do this um, who already has lots of good heroes and they've got the luxury of waiting for the next good one. So for example, uh, pay to win players aren't going to want to be wasting their resources on bad heroes. So they might as well just save them up and wait for a good one to come along. That's kind of what I've done here. Like I'm not going to pretend like I'm a free to play player. I'm a pay to win player. Um, and so what I've done is uh, I knew um, a new hero of the month was coming today. So I went out and got him pretty quick. Uh, and now I'm going to power level him. The last reason you might want to do this is because uh, you might get a hero of the month on the first day it's available, like I just did, and want to play with it right away. So, you know, perhaps you save up for that and get ready. Now this, um, I'm going to explain how I'm going to do this first. Uh, there's no magic to it. Um, it's all in the setup. It's not cheating. You can do this totally for free. Of course, uh, pay-to-win players are going to have lots of extra feeders from doing lots of summons, but free-to-play uh, players are are absolutely still able to do this um, without spending a dime. They just have to save up an, enough feeder heroes in the training camp. So the training camp setup that I have going on here, first of all, I have one training camp, 20 going, um, and this is where I've saved up the food. Um, so I'm going to get all of my food I need for power leveling a hero out of here. Then my three other training camps are set up. This one is um, doing uncommon trainings, and it's been going for maybe like two months, one or two months, just nonstop. I haven't collected anything from it. Um, and it's actually still going to be going for a while, like 20 more days. Uh, in here, I have a training camp 11 going, extra low cost. Uh, there's probably a little over 250 heroes saved up in here. There's probably 250 more saved up in here. So I've been running that for, mm, I don't know, a month or so. Um, both of those uh, level 11 training camps. Uh, so I've got all the feeders I need for today. Um, and an additional way you can save up feeders is down here in the daily summon. So you can see that I've been saving up all my summon tokens. I've got 99 of them. Um, but these work as well. I'm just, I'm not going to use the epic hero tokens today. I want to save those for one of the seasonal events. Uh, so, um, you know, set up your training camps to save up all the feeder heroes you need um, uh, save all of the food that you need in a training camp 20. And then lastly, uh, make sure that you have your Ascension materials ready to go. So I'm going to be doing Kingston. So I'm going to show you here, um, in my Ascension materials that I have, uh, all of the tonics ready to go. I've been saving those up. I've got, um, plenty of Damascus blades, so that's not a problem. And I've got a Tome of Tactics, um, ready to go for this. So that's really what I need for this. In addition to, uh, enough sturdy shields that goes with the green hero. So how do you get these uh, necessary ascension materials? Well, you got to do it just like everybody else. Again, there's no magic to it. You've just got to save them up over time. So it's probably taken me months to get the ascension materials I need in order to max a five-star green hero. But a new one was coming this month because they always go in a color order. So I was ready and had these um, saved up in time for uh, Kingston to be released today so I can max Kingston. So this is going to be a long video. I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm just going to get to it. Um, and I, I've also, by the way, uh, before I really get started, I'm going to show you I have a ton of trainer heroes saved up. No, I did not go buy these. These are all free. I, I just didn't use them over the last, like, probably like a month, month and a half, something like that. Um, I just got them out of doing, uh, like, the chests and tournaments and things like that. So... Here's one thing I do, um, is I make sure to fill these chests 
uh, as frequently as I possibly can. We kill all of our Titans, so we're filling the Titan chest every five days. Um, we do really well in wars, so we tend to open the war chest quite frequently. And really, that's how you get all these like trainer heroes and ascension materials and things like that. Um, they still come very slowly. I'm not getting like so many more than everybody else. Um, uh, but I might be getting a few more that way, which makes it a little bit easier. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on Kingston. I'm going to start with like the lowest XP heroes possible. Um, and so that's really like the non-trainer heroes. Okay, and what you're going to see now is there's not a whole lot for me to talk about for this rest of this video. I might talk about some things, but basically I'm just going to send everything that I have at Kingston. Now, if you're wondering why I have all these Dawas, um, it's because I actually did summons, um, and I did it through the, I've got the yellow uh, legendary summon up right now, so that's what I did it through. Um, I actually got a few five-star yellows by doing that. Um, I got like Justice, and I got um, two Junes, which has eluded me uh, for, for so long, um, but then just in the last like couple of weeks, I, I got three Junes. Um, so let's see here. When I get up to this point to be food efficient, I'm going to see if I can just use a green trainer here to finish Kingston off. How much did that do? Two levels? Uh, I guess close, but not quite. Okay. There we go. First ascension. There we go. All right. So how many feeder heroes does it take? Well, it kind of depends on the how uh, how much XP each of the heroes give. Um, for two-star heroes, which if you're a free-to-play uh, player, then it takes about 750 to 900 heroes uh, in order to, to do that of the two-star variety. Um, but if you have a lot of like three-star heroes, it's going to take less than that, like maybe like 600 or so. And I'm, I'm giving you an approximation because it also depends on if the heroes you're feeding are the same color as the, the hero you're feeding it to, or if they're different. Um, where I'm getting my data is from uh, a spreadsheet, uh, Anya's Ascension chart, which I can link in the comments here. So I'll try to do that so you can look to see how many feeders you probably need to save up of different kinds in order to do this. So basically, I'm going to feed everything that I have in my roster right now except for the trainer heroes and then I'm gonna start doing like one and two star heroes for a while but yeah it took me a, a lot of summons to get Kingston um, uh, I was not very lucky this time around I didn't actually even do a video because like I knew I was just gonna be pulling yellow summons it wasn't gonna be that exciting so I didn't do a summons video um, but it took me over a hundred summons to get Kingston and I was really nervous because I used almost all my gems and um, that was that was just kind of nerve-wracking. All right, let's see here if I can use a green trainer to finish Kingston off. Very close, not quite. Okay, we'll, we're going to save most of the trainer heroes for... Um, oh, it's so close. That's crazy. Whatever. Okay, let's go ahead and ascend again. So we're already on the next level and so now we can work on tier three okay Kingston where'd you go I lost him there he is okay um the way this is working out is kind of like backwards from from what I usually like I, I would like to just do one and two star heroes first and then feed um three and, and some of you're gonna cry at this I'm going to feed all these four-star heroes to Kingston as well. Um, but that's because, like, right now I don't have enough roster space to uh, go get the one- and two-star heroes. So I have to clear a lot of these out first, which I'm going to do. So I know some of you free-to-play free to, free to play players are, are like, what are you doing right now feeding all of these four-star heroes? I don't need any of these heroes. Um, so that's why I'm doing this. And I just got them all 
uh, through summons. I already have a fully maxed Wukong. I really don't need that. Plus, Mickey and Ranveer and Tarlac are all out now. I have Mickey and Tarlac. Um, I mean, I have Mickey and, and uh, Ranveer. I don't have Tarlac. I wish I had Tarlac. Um, so that's going to be all of my summons uh, fed. And so that got me actually up pretty far here. Um, but I have saved up a, a ton of these one and two star heroes too. So now we're going to get started on that. And this is going to go a lot slower. Um, but I actually have enough, like even if I didn't do summons, um, I had enough feeder heroes saved up that I can probably max two five star heroes in one sitting right here. Um, I'm not going to do that on the video because that would take forever to do. Um, but I might uh, do that separately and then show you when I'm done with that. Okay, so one of the annoying things now that we've gotten to this part is we're going to constantly have to be pulling uh, heroes from the from the training camp um, and uh, feed them to Kingston. And so that means we're going to keep going back and forth like this. And actually, let's just start pulling the summons out of the daily summon. This one's going to take a while, but... We're going to get lots of them from this, too. This is going to give lots of good feeders for the troops, as well as I'm trying to level my troops higher constantly. If you hear me tapping a lot, <laughs> that's because you can skip um, the summon screen, which makes things like this go a lot faster. So once it registers that I'm tapping, we're just going quicker. All right, so like while I'm doing this mindlessly, let's talk about Kingston a little bit. Um, I really like how Kingston looks um, because he's fast and he's got that typical sniper thing going on where he does a lot of damage with one hit. But he also decreases the attack of the hero he's hitting and the ones next to him, which is very similar in a lot of ways to Zaylene. And Zaylene has been just a tremendous hero. Uh, uh, she was a, a hero of the month a long time ago. Um, and you see her show up in, um, in Atlantis from time to time. But um, her effect really can slow down an attacker, and, and I would say she's just as good or about as good as Gravemaker, so really if, if you have uh, Zaylene and Gravemaker as flanks next to like a Gwyn tank or a Kunshin or something like that, um, uh, that's usually a really, really good combo. The problem is Zaylene is, hey, we just got a three star. Um, the problem is that Zaylene is a wizard just like Guinevere, so unfortunately those people who have Guinevere, like me, have this problem where we can't put emblems on, uh, we can't effectively put emblems on both of them because, you know, splitting them isn't a good idea, and just putting them on one and not the other is not a good idea, so people have often been having to choose between, uh, Zaylene and Guinevere, but Kingston is not a wizard like those two, Kingston is a fighter. And since Kingston is a fighter, that means that he's going to fit more naturally into defenses. So I bet you you're going to see a lot of Kingston show up in a lot of defenses, especially for those people who have Guinevere and like to use Guinevere as their tank. Um, you're going to start to see uh, Kingston, who I think can actually fit very naturally in either the flank or the, the wing. And so, you know, being on the edge or being in the flank, being, being able to be in any position like that, um, it just makes his usefulness even higher. So you're going to see a lot of Kingston. I, I can almost guarantee it. Um, and he's got a really nice body too. I mean, like, okay, so the art is good, but like <laughs> what I mean is his defense is high. Um, and he's got good enough uh, HP that um, he's going to survive uh, quite well on defenses. Not only is he going to be really awesome on defenses, but he's going to be really awesome on offense too. Like... Man, if you've got Evelyn and then you take um, Kingston along with you, you're going to do a lot of damage. Uh, so uh, just a really great hero of the month, really well designed. He's going to be a lot of fun. He's going to be one of those like must-have hero of the months that, that a lot of people are going to chase. Um, so, all right. 
Now we're back to leveling Kingston. If we can find him again. Where is he at? Okay, there we go. This will let me just take some time to not have to go back and forth now. The two star heroes do give a good, whoops, that is not what I meant to do. What did I just click on? I was clicking too fast. I just did something. I think I used the rest of my hams. Okay, so this is the first time I need more ham. <laughs> so look, I've got some in the farms. I think I accidentally just spent gems to like get some ham. I did not mean to do that. And I do not need to do that because I have plenty of hams. Do you see that? So here's what you do to get your hams back. So I've got one training camp 20 where I'm taking the hams out of, and I've got a training camp 11 um, where I'm going to put all these extra recruits. And you really need to have one of these training camp 11s going uh, because you've got to dump the recruits into the training camp 11 to keep getting the food out. In fact, this is going to take so long. Let me just trade these places here. All right. So I can just do this a little bit faster. So this is the part in the video with Ranveer that I sped up. Because, like, I can't believe that there's anybody who wants to watch me moving food in and out of a training camp. But this is how you do it. Um, and I'm just going to be doing this over and over and over again. I've just been saving these for a long time. Um, it just takes a lot of patience. Uh, it takes a lot of discipline uh, in order to do this, like, you know... If you've got plenty of heroes to fight with, then, you know, don't be going and feeding all your resources to heroes that don't matter that much. Save them for the ones you really want to have. Now, power leveling is not for everybody um, because uh, in a lot of cases, the best thing to do, especially if you're like kind of a newer player or you're a mid-game player, is just be building a, a deeper bench for war. And in order to build that deeper bench for war, let's use some of these trainer heroes now see... Okay, it's not going to be good enough yet. In order to build a deeper bench for war, the best thing to be doing is to just, you know, slowly but surely be leveling heroes as you go, feeding each um, hero that you're leveling the same color feeder that goes with it. Uh, and that doesn't give you a lot of time to, like, save up. Like, you just need to have heroes that you're leveling constantly so you can do well in wars and things like that. Um, but if you're, like, a free-to-play player who's kind of late game or your pay to win who's late game, then this really is like a nice effective uh, strategy for when you get a hero that you want, making sure that you're able to um, level that hero up. Okay, I keep losing Kingston. He keeps jumping up on me. There we go. Let's try these uh, trainer heroes again now, just to kind of, again, speed things up. Um... Yeah, that's fine. Oh, I forgot we're going to 70. Duh. Okay. Keep on going. I shouldn't have used those trainer heroes quite yet, but it's okay. I wish there was a quicker way to get the feeder heroes out. Like, I wish they let you just kind of like overload your roster with feeder heroes like they do um, with like when you go summons, when you get summons and they let it, you have more heroes than you have like roster space. <laughs> that would be really useful right now because that this pro whole process would go a lot quicker. But maybe that's why they do this. I don't know. Like... You know, I don't think that they designed this game for you to be power leveling, although it's a thing you can do, and they, they certainly aren't against it, you know? Like, if you're 
disciplined and, and able to save up for this, you should be rewarded by being able to max a hero whenever you get that opportunity. I think, anyway. I'm sure they're fine with it. There's, like, other weird things about this game that they probably didn't intend for, but actually probably are not as happy about. Like, for example, um, how people take one-star heroes and uh, put the the shield on the one-star heroes going against the Titan, and the Titan basically just kills itself. <laughs> Which I think is hilarious. Um, but I don't think that they intended for that battle item to, to do that. Um, it doesn't make sense to me that they would want a design where, like, people are taking heroes out of their, like, you know, like, just the fodder you get in the map, um, to kill, like, 14-star titans. But anyway, um, that's a thing, too. They haven't fixed it yet. I don't know if they will. I would kind of hope they fix it. That, to me, just isn't playing the game right. Like, whenever I play games or I watch sports where, it's, you know, there's this exploitation of, like, the mechanics of it, it just doesn't feel right to me. Like, it, it seems like that should be fixed so that, like, people are playing the game the, the way that it was intended to be played. Um, I can probably do a couple of trainer heroes here, too, just to speed things up to get to level 70. Um, I'm going to save the two and three star trainer heroes for uh, the higher levels. Oh, so close. I'm not going to do that quite yet. All right. There we go. Okay, and now we're going to go on to the final tier, and this is the long tier. Oh, I need the food. Okay. So this is only the second time we're taking food out of this camp, so you can see it's actually pretty easy to save up food in the training camp 20 to have enough of it. But now you have to watch me move food and recruits around. So again, I'm taking food out of the training camp 20, just like this. One, two... And then putting all those extra recruits into a training camp 11. That way I can just keep doing this and refill my food. Do you see how this is working? One, two. And we're basically, basically full on food again. Let's just do it like one more time. There we go. So you see I have 615 days and keeps going up and up and up in this training camp 11. Like, of course, I don't want to be running that thing for 216 days. But, um, you know, that's what it's going to say, of course, whenever you're like trying to store a bunch of food in there. Or a bunch of recruits, I should say. Okay, so now that I've used a lot of my trainer heroes, I'm just going to start um, doing these in multiples. The most efficient way to do this is only one star heroes for now. So I'm just going to do that a few times. Whoops. I didn't click on exactly the right training camp, but I don't really care because it's giving me the same level heroes. Okay, let's go a little quicker now. Look, I have that Shaji saved. Why do I have that Shaji saved? I think I meant to like max that Shaji for one of, for like that two star tournament that was a little while back, but never did. <laughs> so. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and feed him, because I am sure I can get another one of those. Uh, let's see here. Kingston, where are you? There you are. Okay, 
So I keep saying I'm going to go a little quicker now, but now I actually am. <laughs> so I, I think I have enough resources to max another five-star hero. Like I was saying, I've got enough food and feeder heroes saved up. I really could. I, I'm not going to do that to you guys, but, <laughs> um, I, I got Grizzle, um, off of some of my, uh, free Atlantis coins, uh, just a few days ago. Um, and I wasn't necessarily even trying for Grizzle, but I was kind of hoping that I would get her cause, um, I really like her as another five-star version of kind of like a backwards version of regard because instead of cleansing, uh, what she does is she prevents heroes from taking on status effects. So instead of clearing the status effects, she, you know, your heroes don't take it on in the first place, which is kind of cool. Um, and she's extra fast. So, or very fast. So what that means is that you can give her a level 11 red man, mana troop and, um, she will go off after only two matches, which is really nice. Uh, so I'm glad to get her, and after I'm done with Kingston here, I might just go max her as well, um, because uh, I had I had been tempted to do a video where I do two Hero of the Months at the same time, but then when I kind of did the calculation in my head about how long that would take, um, I think that would take close to like two hours to do, so there's no way I'm doing that to you guys, but um, what I may do if I have time tonight is after I'm done, maybe I'll go max Grizzle and then like tag it on to the end of this video so you can see. Um, but I'm certainly not spending any money or gems or anything to, to do this. Um, because, you know, certainly I spent, uh, plenty enough gems to just try and get Kingston in the first place. Um, this time around, I was kind of unlucky and didn't get him, uh, as soon as I had hoped to get him, but I have, I can't complain too much. If you've seen some of my summons videos recently, I have been getting super lucky. Even in my training camp 20, I just did a training camp 20 video not long ago where I, I pulled like 20 heroes out of my training camp 20 that I had saved up. And I've got like, uh, I probably got like 30 in there right now. Maybe I can do that at the end of this video for you. Um, but, uh, I got like three five star purples like in in just like twenty in twenty uh pools out of the training camp, which was like just really super lucky, but not only that um I've been getting super lucky in just like my other summons as well, like in Atlantis, I just used some coins and got Grizzle. Uh, and I got June out of the Atlantis summon too, so now I have three Junes. I was kind of referencing that earlier. Um, but I'm kind of at a point right now where I've got like more heroes than I can possibly ascend at the moment. Um, just because I, I have gotten so lucky recently. Um, so way more heroes than I have ascension materials. So I'm being really picky about who I'm ascending. Um, I really do want to ascend a June, but I also know that the yellow hero of the month is coming like I think next month. So hmm I've I've got almost enough darts to ascend June, but I might want to wait for the hero of the month next month too. We'll just see. Um and that's of course if it still follows the same like pattern that they have been following with colors. Um so yeah. Look at the days on this thing just keep going up and up and up. Okay. Back to Kingston. When we start to get really high with Kingston, um, he's just going to be eating so much food uh, that it's going to get hard. And what I mean by hard is, like, it's just going to get hard to watch. <laughs> like, you're just going to watch me do the same things over and over and over again, um, which you kind of already have been, but uh, it's just going to feel like we're doing so much of it and getting getting not far at all. So I am trying to speed it up by doing this a little bit inefficiently in that, like, I'm just throwing all the one and two star heroes at it, I get. Really, like I said, the 
most efficient way to do this would be to do one star heroes up front and then move on to two star heroes and then move on to three star heroes and then four towards the end um that's just better for like your food and stuff but i'm not really worried about it i've got plenty All right, getting near level 50 here. I wish I didn't have to watch that, like just one hero after another. I wish it would just like just in one batch, just give me my heroes. Like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't need to collect these one and two star heroes one by one. Um, I'm glad they at least let me skip feeding. Like, I don't have to sit there and watch them one by one get fed to Kingston. That's that's at least a bonus. So, thanks for thinking of us there, small giant. Um, save us some, some pain that way. All right, look at this. We're on uh, tier four. And getting up there in the levels. I just saw something on Kingston I didn't know was there. I'm going to have to look at this and probably research what's going on with this. I should probably know this for you guys, um, but I don't. What was this? So when I click on Kingston... He resists burn. The hero has an innate ability to resist burn. That's cool. That makes him even better. Oh my gosh, think about that. Like, if somebody brings Gravemaker along uh, to try and attack your defense, if Kingston's on your defense, then Gravemaker might not do any damage to Kingston. That's incredible. Wow, Kingston is just so good. I already talked all about how, how good Kingston is, and I didn't even realize that's just an additional little perk there. <laughs> Okay, let's go get some more food. So here's something I want to know. Do you see how I have like 392,000 gems and like, or I can skip this uh, and just get all these heroes immediately for like, well, now it's like 395,000 gems. <laughs> Has anyone ever accidentally clicked on that thing? I'm curious about that. Like, have, have you ever... Um, you know, maybe you didn't have this much in a training camp, but, like, you go to, like, add some resources to the camp or something, and you just accidentally click on that and, like, purchase, like, a whole crap ton of just feeder heroes with gems. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh, my gosh. That'd be crazy. All right, let's do it maybe like one more time. Can I do two? Yeah, sure. We'll just save ourselves time that way so we don't have to come back in an additional trip to the training camp. So once again, just in case you didn't catch it before, I'm taking food out of the training camp 20, and taking all those extra recruits and putting it into a training camp 11. Uh, that way, that's how you save food up. Um... Uh, okay, I actually needed to go collect some more heroes, too. There we go. So I had about, I'm going to say like 260 heroes, uh, like feeder heroes, saved up in each of the training camp 11s. I have over a 1,000 saved up in uh, training camp 2. We haven't even gotten to the training camp 2 yet. So we probably will soon. But, like, that's why I'm telling you, I have enough here saved up for another Hero of the Month. Um, I could do two Hero of the Months at the same time. And really, again, it just takes, like, patience and, like, waiting for when you get a hero that you really want to level up. Just because you get a five-star hero doesn't necessarily mean it's, like, worth leveling up. 
Now, if you're free to play, then probably, like, anytime you get a five-star hero, you should really consider leveling it. But um, if you're paid to win, you know, like, there's a lot of heroes that you should just probably not even touch. So, like, don't go wasting your materials. That's how you have the Ascension materials. Like, I have plenty of other green heroes I could have ascended before today. I didn't do it because I knew I, I really wanted to get the green hero of the month whenever it came around. I thought, you know what? Like, if the green hero of the month is good, then I want that. And it turns out the green hero of the month is really, really good. So I was ready. Now, um, I have reached points. I'm not there right now, but I have reached points where I have just um, so many Ascension materials just because I haven't really had anybody to level up with it that, like, I can consider leveling a bad hero, what I would consider, like, a bad hero up. Um... Let me give you an example. So there was a point at which I had like, I think almost 20 tabards. And I just wasn't getting good purple heroes, um, which was kind of a bummer. I think I only had Sartan Sartana at the time. And, uh, but I had all these tabards and I got a Domitia. I heard Domitia was awful, but I was like, you know what? Like, I'm just going to go level her up because like we're facing yellow tanks all the time in war and I want some additional purple depth. Well, it turns out like once I leveled Domitia, she was pretty good, and I had all these tabards left over, so if you have a lot of tabards, or you have a lot of other, um, you know, resources saved up for that, and you could level two other heroes, then okay, that's fine, you know, you can go level a quote-unquote bad hero, um, just to give yourself a little more depth. You know, at that point, like, if you're playing the game for many, many, many months, or like even like a year, and you're just sitting on ascension materials and heroes and not leveling them, I mean, at some point, play the game, you know, like, have fun with it, like... <laughs> But, um, you know, if you're, if you don't have just an overwhelming number of Ascension materials, I think it is wise to wait like this for a hero that you really want. Um, and then you can do what I'm doing, which is on the first day of the month, uh, where you have this available, you can go out and level them up and start playing immediately. By the way, what do you think about the art on Kingston? kind of interesting you know I'm gonna assume that's a dagger that he's balancing <laughs> um is he supposed to be like a, a magician or I don't know like I mean he's a fighter okay so but I don't know some of the classes don't make sense to me like why is Kirill a wizard I have I don't understand that at all But Kingston is a fighter, so he must be using that little dagger to, to fight people. And is just so good at fighting with that little dagger that he can balance it. Okay, you know what? We're starting to get pretty high here. I'm going to stop with the one and two stars. Um, Let's just finish. Let's just finish him off with some of these trainer heroes. There we go. And just like that, Kingston is now maxed. So let's go take him for a stroll. Um, we can go raiding with him. I'm going to go find a raid. Um, sure, let's do... Let's do like a green purple team. And I want to show off Kingston, so I'm going to make it like a green heavy team. Let's take a couple here of, of, of the month. So let's take the shot. Of course, Kingston. Um, Liana, and here's another hero of the month, Evelyn. Okay. Make sure I understand everything that's going on. Wow, look at that. Elemental Link gives plus 4% mana generation for all nature allies. So if I'm going green heavy, not only that, but Evelyn's got this uh, Link too, but this one is health, so they really work together well. Okay, 
Let's see how this goes. Hopefully I, I get to use the special here so you can see it. Um, <laughs> I'm just so excited to use the, the green, but it's probably not wise at the moment because there's not a whole lot of green available. But I think I'm going to do it because I need to cause a cascade. Um, and hopefully, I basically, I, any of the damage I do here is going to be undone by Delilah. Um... Which is unfortunate, but okay, we'll just go ahead and do this. It doesn't make me happy to do that right there, but man, if they kill Kingston like the first time that I'm using him, I'm gonna be ticked. Come on, Magni, hit somebody else, not Kingston. Good. <laughs> All right, let's use Kingston. Um, I think I want to focus on this side of the board. All right. What is this, 445? That's 512. Um, okay, let's just hit... Delilah, because he's going to give attack down to the nearby enemies. But it should kill Delilah. Oh, look at that special. He definitely is a fighter with that dagger. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm not sure that he would have killed Liana back there anyway. So that's okay. All right. I don't want to use Regard here, but I'm going to have to, because I'd rather all my heroes not die when Aslar goes off, but I'd like his effect. I'd like Regard's effect to clear Aslar. I'm just going to have to hope I can get some more purples again. Okay. Need to kill Liana. Um, wonder if that'll kill Magni. Ugh, he revived. Stop reviving, dude. Not cool. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go after Hazlar. Because I can't kill Sartana, so no point. Now we can go after Sartana. And let's use Kingston one more time. All right, there it is. We just maxed Kingston and used him for the first time. All right, well, that was how to power level a hero. And as you can see, there is a lot more where that came from. I, I barely touched the heroes of my training camp, too. I've got plenty more to go. I can totally max uh, Grizzul if I want to. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that, but I'm going to sign off for here. All right, I'm checking in again because I just did everything I showed you uh, that I did with Kingston with Grizzul because I had plenty of resources. Uh, so I almost have Grizzul maxed. Uh, I just need to take the last few heroes out of my training camp 20. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, take these out, uh, show you what I get out of my training camp 20, and then put them into Grizzle and finish her off. So I'll, I'll have done two Hero of the Months uh, in just about an hour and a half's time, which is really nice. So here's my training camp 20 results. All right, I have uh, pretty much all those heroes and a lot of them max, so I really don't need those anymore. But uh, let's go ahead here and finish off Grizzul. Well, let's just start at the top, so I know some of you are going to...
cry as I <laughs> feed these four-star heroes again. Um, but don't really need them. So that's why I'm doing this. I wonder if a two-star hero will be fine here. I don't know. I've got one. Nope. Okay. So we'll just go with that. And there she is. So I just maxed Kingston and Grizzol in the same night to show you that it is possible if you just have some patience and you set up your training camps uh, and save the food and the ascension materials. So there you go. Thanks for watching.